I like Bond chapters in gacha games, interacting with the character you really like and getting to know them more. You can always expect a lot of wholesome moments when character stories are involved, especially funny moments too, and also a teensy bit of flirty lines I guess. They are very fun to go through, and then they just give you a hint that they maybe really like you for real, like letting you know that this girl is maybe into you and give the people dojit ideas. Like Blue Archive, they give a sign that the students in Kivoto maybe like you as something more than a sensei, but they don't show it. They give off lines that gives you a sign that they like you, which they probably do and let your imagination go wild. I didn't play the Valentine's Day event and I regret missing out, so I don't know much about that. Genshin have bond stories with their 4 stars, it's all like hangout events, not much romance but they are still very cute and wholesome. I especially like Noelle's hangout event. They even give a picture for you to save with each enemy you got. Overall, subtle hints just leaves the relationship between the MC and the character to the people's imagination, and that's good to me. Nikkei, however, in their bond chapters, the Nikkeis were like, I I know we've known each other for a about a month or two, but do you wanna fuck? And the MC is like, she. Alright, let's do it. They don't even hide it, they just say it, they like you. Noise is obvious with the love song she made for us. Volume, you know what happens after. And after a coffee kiss with sugar, which she keeps reminding us about, Dala buys you a drink and kisses you. Pepper straight up just said it and went for it. And Rupi, you know what? At some point, she's gonna fuck you. God damn, the MC Nikkei is something else.